Welcome all. So in this tutorial, we shall learn how to communicate between child and parent components so that when the model is closed on saving, the record is record added is visible without refreshing the browser. Now, remember in the last time that we showed the application running, we will do it again to show. So I've got everything ready on the movie details dialog so title genre release date director and running time and if i click on submit you see that the model dialog closes but unless we refresh the browser nothing is shown on this grid okay so now this is shown after refreshing so we'll i mean make this event callback concept come into play all right, so let's switch over to Visual Studio. So in this movie detail, uh, the child component, now what I have to do is that let me come to the code section and I'll have to add a, an event callback parameter, okay? So this is another parameter. Which helps in communicating between the parent and child. So prop tap tap and this type it will be even callback type so even callback now this will be an even callback on movie object or movie type so with the pair of angular braces I will write movie all right and name this on save just to be representative of what this is up to. So on save gets it, okay? So this um, squiggly line takes a wee bit of time to go. Now, everything is all right on this side. Now let's come to the movies, which is the type, I mean, the parent component in which this movie detail is sitting. So I'll have to make a few changes over here. Just a couple of changes. Now these changes are, um, I'll have to make a method call over there, you know, and that method is will be known as refreshed. So what this refresh does, let, let's start coding and I will explain as we go along. So private async task type and this will be a task and this will be a task list of movie. list of movie class and I'll call this refreshed refreshed and within this async task async method all I have to do is to make this movies you know initialize private list of movie which was already there is movies so I'll have to assign this movies um, object so initialize this as await on I'll call this take the service instance dot get movies that's it so service dot get movies and then return this movie movies return this object return movies and then coming back to here this will be now on save is also exposed that is the event callback that we declared over here right this is the event callback so with this event callback this will be actually calling the refreshed method refreshed method and that's all then come back here Now, one last thing that is remained here is I'll have to call this on save method so that it can communicate. So await now this event callback on save. Now there is a invoke async method. Okay. So and I'll pass a movie object and then I'll come back to it what it does. So 
it invokes the delegate associated with this binding and dispatches an event notification to the appropriate component. That is the key thing, you know. Now this invoke async invokes on save delegate and dispatches an event notification to the parent component, which is movies.razor and passing the movie object asynchronously. Now coming back to the parent component, which is movies.razor, it contains the child component. This uh, contains the child component, which we earlier know. And it is now using this delegate, event callback delegate on save, which is actually calling the at refreshed method within this component. And this gets the movies list by using the data access service instance, which is this service. I have already actually uh, run this in the background. So let's get back to uh, this application and then I have put this movie detail. I have filled all the properties, all the um, boxes and then click on submit my fair lady and this is refreshed. So that was what we set out to. So in this lecture we have we learned how to communicate between the child and child and parent components so that when the model was closed on saving, the record added was shown without refreshing the browser. And in the process, we learned about the event callback, so which is an event delegate that helps in passing the information from the child to the parent, which contains the child.